Now, same as with vectors, we can create matrices and associate the elements in a matrix with element names, right? So we'll create matrices and specify the row and column names. And to do that, we are going to use a function that we will call dime names, where we are naming the rows and columns. So now let us name the dimensions in our matrix. So we're going to use this function called dime names, right? And we're going to pass in our matrix, right? And then this function will accept a list, okay? So what we want to, to pass in here is that we're going to pass in a list and say, remember that we have three rows. So we're going to first name our rows and name our columns. So let's say for the first row, we are talking about the range of numbers from 60 up to 80. And say for the second row, the range of numbers will be the range of numbers is 50 up to 59. And then for the third row, it's going to be 49 and less. Next is we're going to pass in the vector which contains the names of our columns. Let's say this one belongs to males. And then the second column is um, the number of females. Okay. So let us run this. And if we can now call our matrix, we will observe we will observe that we have used time names function to name the rows and also to name the columns of our matrix.